Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Dial H for Hero Flicks for a very special, albeit slightly delayed unboxing. I have my case of Avengers Forever that I ordered from CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, you know what? Things happen, and sometimes the things that happen are hurricanes and shipping gets delayed. Uh, cool Stuff is out of Florida, so it took a minute uh, for this all to get here. Before I get into the main, like the meat of the unboxing, we have... We've already seen these, but I just want to show you, this is kind of my standard, what I buy for every set, you know? So I got my double dice and token packs. We know what's in these. I love these. I love that they decided to give us almost all the bystanders, all the main set bystanders are in the dice and token pack, which is really cool. Um, and it's only like the legacy ones that weren't in the dice and token pack. And if you want those legacy bystanders, you can get them at patreon.com slash dial H podcast link in the description below uh we do our own custom designs so like i'm captain america uh ian is the blazing skull and simeon is namor for like the rick jones ones and we have some fun ones for the aim uh the aim bystanders that modok makes i also always get a play at home kit i am gonna crack this open just super quick Jeez, man i'm doing like the with the box cutter it's giving me some uh breaking bad ptsd that's a a show I'm almost done with. It only took me a million years, but I am, I'm almost completely uh, caught up with Breaking Bad. Because the cool thing, and I, I'm really starting to love this with the Play at Home kits, is a map, a figure, and now legacy cards are included inside them, which I am... Words can't describe how stoked I am for that, where it's like, oh yeah, just it guarantees you, boom, you get Rick Jones. And I'm pretty sure the other one is uh, Thor and MODOK are also guaranteed. So a guaranteed Rick Jones, a super fun, invincible Ant-Man figure. He's got his bystanders nicely printed on the inside with their rules. I think it made sense, especially for Rick Jones, because I feel like not that there's much cheating I think is going to happen here, but you can usually tell if it's a double folded card. I know people were doing that for the Black Widow movie set. They would uh, go to Target or something, and they would feel up all the packs, and they would see, because Black Widow was the only card that folded, um, the Chase Black Widow. Uh, so yeah, like people were kind of uh, scumming it that way. So I think, especially when it's like a Chase card, you know, I think if they do Chase cards going forward, I think making sure they are guaranteed, because a Chase is already hard to come by, right? And especially a Golden Age Chase... You know, most Golden Age chases aren't that expensive, but for the sake of ease and how much their price will shoot up if they're good, and their price is going to shoot up anyways, um, might as well make them easier to get. So, first brick. I also, I hate to keep keep doing this to you guys, but uh, I like to do this with my cool stuff, ink orders. Whenever I get a new set, I like to go through what is some stuff that I would like to own. Uh, so I went ahead, I finally got Awatu and his ultimate nullifier. So mission point shenanigans, you know, for myself, which is I personally enjoy mission points. And then I ended up getting, uh, oh geez, I got two right legs. Well, that's fine. Uh, two Hulkbuster right legs. And then the Hulkbuster base uh, from the Nick Fury Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. set, the Build-A-Clicks figure. Now the Hulkbuster base... Uh, it was like two dollars, but it didn't have its card. So I'm, I'm basically just getting it as a shelf piece. I don't even have the Iron Man that goes to it. So, yeah, I figured I'd get a shelf piece. There's a ton of dust on this. I think they were like, yeah, this thing is super old. So I'm pretty stoked with that. The two right legs. I really thought I bought a right leg and a left leg. I guess that's fine. Uh, a Watu's card, the double right leg card. Uh, then I went ahead and more mission point shenanigans. I bought a Mockingbird card from the Empire set for the Legacy Mockingbird. Now, I think I actually have 10 of them. Now it's just actually getting that many Mockingbird figures. All right, enough talk. I've already opened a brick of this set. Let's go ahead, let's get into, let's get into the case. Big wants, Soldier Supreme, obviously. Dormammu Red, take this plastic off, boom. Do it the way Gus Spring does it, boom. Legacy card, team up card. When I first opened my first brick, I did not realize, yeah, uh, I didn't realize they were doing the team-up cards in with the legacy cards. Oh, darn you, Andrew Klinger. Uh, well, I already traded for the Patriot team-up card. 
but that's okay. I'll trade this for another team up card that I want. Uh, probably the coolest thing, boom, bada bing, bada boom, the Kang Legacy card, which is a figure I have because of the disgusting amounts of Supernova I bought. And I really like this Legacy card. I think it's done super well. I, God, I, love, I really do. I love the Kang Legacy card. All right, first brick. Soldier Supreme, Dormammu Red. That's the biggest, most of the biggest ones. Uh, whatever else is candy. A pack that's just, oh yeah, and as many generics as we can possibly get our hands on, obviously. Captain America, Hydra Agent, Mantis, Hydra Officer and Claw. Man, I should not pop them out because they'll be so unorganized, but good first pack. I like Claw a lot. Cap's obviously my guy, and then a generic in it. Very solid. These Hydra Agents are so dope. I love the way they did generics in the set. I love the way they interact with each other in the set. It's so cool. All the different ways you generate them. All the different ways you make them. Another Hydra Agent. Oh, baby. Speed, Gorilla Man, Maria Hill, and the Super Rare Iron Man, which is kind of... I didn't know this. It's the Extremist, Iron, uh, Extremist Armor Iron Man. Does it say anything about this? No, but he is made very much in the same way that Hulk is, and I didn't notice this either because I haven't opened it yet but he's got Jarvis run the numbers that's cool um that little effect but he's got Iron Man the legend is his running shot uh Iron Man hyper velocity hypersonic speed Iron Man crash quake Iron Man armor wars impervious Iron Man the Iron Age toughness Tony Stark Iron Man rage combat expert and an ultimate Iron Man is his outwit that's really cool uh I love it that's another cool thing about flavor text is this set did flavor text incredibly well I almost wish Captain America uh, had the same flavor text that uh, Iron Man and Thor, Iron, sorry, not Thor, but Hulk do. Uh, I should check the legacy Thor and see if he has any crazy flavor text. But that Iron Man was also something I wanted. I would like to play him, uh, maybe <laughs> the Supernova Thor, and then the cat from this set on a team for fun. Okay, another strong pack here. A little, uh, we got some ongoing action in this pack. Uh, Patriot, Blue Marvel, Reptile, Wonder Man, and Astral Doctor Strange. I will say the Astral Stranges I'm not actually that interested in. Um, not a Doctor Strange guy, not a magic dude, so those ones will be like the one generic I'm getting rid of. The mindless ones are at least made by Dormammu Red, who have gotta have Fight Soldier Supreme. Speak of the Devil, we get a mindless one. We have the common Iron Man, Nick Fury. Crimson Dynamo and uh, Prodigy. All right, not too bad, not too bad. This table is gonna get so full of stuff. Barely even started on boxing. I really am trying to remember what other super rares. I know there's more super rares I want besides like just She-Hulk. Oh, this is a six sculpt. Not a super rare I want, but it is a six sculpt. Captain America, the Winter Soldier, Wong, Hawkeye, and this really cool Ghost Rider whipping his chain. So. In the Avengers Forever storyline, wow, his skull looks really cool too. Robbie Reyes is constantly being, for the majority of the storyline, it's him and Deathlock are captured by the Black Skull, which is Red Skull with the Venom symbiote. And Robbie is just getting tortured the entire time. And I think it takes Black Skull like three or four days, but he finally saws... Robbie, Robbie's right foot off because that's his like gas pedal foot, right? He saws that like foot off and it's really incredible. That number one it took like three days to do, so it's excruciating pain. Um, Deathlock is talking to Robbie Reyes the entire time, like, look, don't pass out. Once you pass out, he wins and he can get whatever, but it's like you have to stay strong, you have to keep going, and Deathlock is just constantly talking to Robbie to try to make him stay awake. It's it's really incredible. Okay. Oof. Strong chase. This is another chase I did want. Not because I really necessarily care about the character, but he's just really freaking good. Uh, we have Bucky, Black Panther, Mockingbird, Gorilla Man. And our chase, we have our two super rares. We have our chase. I don't know if we have a prime or anything that we'll get with this brick, but it is Iron Hammer. Iron Hammer does look really cool. He's got a little, little bendy little bendy hammer i gotta pick it up there but iron hammer's pretty sick he is uh i think he's gonna be really tough to take down all that invincible protected outwit uh the super senses with the deflect damage is really incredible iron hammer's just really good he's just really nasty all right 
trucking right along. I guess I really want the Sentry Prime. The normal Sentry is really good too, but I'm not really a Sentry fan. I never read any comics from that era. Um, all right, we got uh, Miss Marvel, Vision, Doctor Strange, Wong, and the Winter Soldier. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm not really a big fan of uh, of Sentry. I never read that many comics with him. I do. I understand that he's a really cool, interesting character. Um, but I just haven't read anything he's been in. I assume if I did, I'd probably really like it. We have Patriot, Wonder Man, Iron Man, Red Guardian, and the normal Ant-Man, which is Scott Lang, Baby Legs, Ant-Man. Very just hilarious sculpt. I think I'm due one more super rare. I don't know what the... Uh, collation not collation sorry distribution for bricks are uh but we'll see okay so maybe not a super rare but we did get a prime which is cool shield operative falcon doctor strange a mindful one and then we got the swordsman uh the vegan swordsman prime where he's a plant person so that's kind of cool i guess plant people probably hate vegans but anyways uh there's there's our prime we got a prime and a chase which is really sick uh, for this brick i really like it we did get a super rare we wanted which is really cool and we do get another super rare which i'm down for shield operative hawkeye wonder man drax and then we get wow i cannot think of his name immortus lord of time kang the conqueror that's pretty cool i do want to play an all kang the conqueror team with all the new kangs from this set it's like iron lad the chase kamala kang sorry excuse me miss kang um immortus and then the legacy kang and the normal super rare kang which that does remind me that is the one super rare i was still missing uh was that super rare kang that is one i really want all right let's take this plastic off the plastic they're using now is less loud it almost feels like it's more of a a vinyl than it is what the old plastic was where it was just so noisy uh, so i don't know is the plastic getting quieter we shall see boom Boom, boom, boom. All right. Still on the quest for the more team-ups I need and the more legacy cards I need. I think I already have Dark Star. I might also already have Dark Star and Kang. I don't know. Uh, but Dark Star I still need because I want to complete the entire Captain America 2011 set. And it is complete, but I'm now considering that I need the legacy cards to also make it slightly more complete. Uh, also, they have a sick set symbol which is his shield on their card and then we get the uh mockingbird hawkeye team up not really big on that i really do wish that hawkeye and mockingbird in this set had the great lakes avengers keyword um which you'd only be able to really play with them but still you know i like i like seeing it around the great lakes avengers are one of the coolest groups in comics they're hilarious uh but all right those are my legacy team ups I'm going to have to do some serious trading uh, to get the rest of my team-ups for sure. Yes! Uh, we're going to save this pack for the end. Obviously, there's a chase in it. Duh. Um, very excited about that. Uh, very happy with this case. This case is a double chase case. Uh, love it. Love it. Love it. Red Skull, Iron Lad, Speed, and a Mindful one. Ah, yeah, that is dope. Happy Thanksgiving to me. Uh, if you guys don't know this right now, I don't know when this video is going to go up, but it is currently Thanksgiving Day, and I am doing what I do every Thanksgiving morning, and that is stay out of everybody's way as they clean and cook. So this is, this is me doing my part. Make no mistake. We have Mantis, we have Echo, an actual Doctor Strange, a Hydra officer, and Captain America. Uh, Echo is really cool. This costume is is fun. This is her Phoenix Force version of Echo. I hope we get more Phoenix characters. Uh, I don't know if Marvel is just pushing Echo because of the show or what the reason we just get Echo is, but I would like to see all of the Phoenix Force characters. The biggest one, I think, and this is obviously slightly biased, but captain america captain america was one of the first people to get the phoenix force in this run where almost everybody wore the phoenix force but they made a big deal about it because he had this really cool issue this amazing comic book cover for the issue captain america gets the phoenix force and he fights i believe he fights magneto with it and it's it's really it's a really amazing comic book there's a lot of great lines taken from like Infinity War, I shouldn't say Infinity War, but Infinity Gauntlet, I should say, uh, with Captain America versus uh, Magneto when he has the Phoenix Force on. It's really, really cool. 
And I think when we all first saw the Echo, we thought, oh, are they going to do a sub-theme where it's when all the Avengers and other random characters got the Phoenix Force? Not the case. They, they just made Echo. But there's also, like, a Howard the Duck that gets the Phoenix Force and a bunch of other Avengers and X-Men that have never had the Phoenix Force that get it. So that's always interesting. We have Captain America, Bucky, a S.H.I.E.L.D. operative, Crimson Dynamo, and a Stature as our rare. So far, we have seen our chase. We have gotten one super rare. Um, there's really nothing else to pull. I would really like Kang, of course, and as many generics as I can get my hands on. Uh, okay, cool. I forgot about this guy. We have Patriot, Red Guardian, Wong, Mantis, and Baron Mordo. Old Carl here. Friggin' dude named Carl. Get a load of this guy. All right. This pack is pack's kind of heavy toward the bottom. I'm going to call it right now. It's very heavy here in the bottom. My guess is Hulk. I cannot think of a heavier figure in this set. Wow. Why on earth did I think it was heavy near the bottom? It was clearly heavier more toward the top. Maybe just because the cards were there. I, I apologize, guys. I am not the... Uh, Rain Man, I thought I was. Mindless One, the heaviest thing in this booster, toward the top, not the bottom. Gorilla Man, also a heavy figure toward the top, not the bottom. I think my hands don't work anymore. Iron Man, Vision, and then we get Gore, the God Butcher. Uh, Gore, I think, should not be put on the on this farthest side, right? Because then you try to stand him up. He literally can't stand up because his cape pushes against the plastic. This is obviously just because they randomly put them in the packs, but this causes Gore to lean versus, and let me just show you here really quickly, and I'll probably take a picture of it and have that on screen. Let's say we put anybody else on the side, who doesn't matter if they're on the side of the pack, and then we put uh, Gore the God Butcher in the middle. He would now have space uh, to stand straight up in his cape, uh, wouldn't actually be pressing against the hard plastic, and he could just actually stand up. So, in the future, obviously this is like a random factory worker that puts these things in there, but I'm just saying, uh, yeah, my other gore is on lean too, you know. I don't want my gores to be on lean. I want them to be fighting in tip-top shape. Oh, yes! I, I guess I just keep forgetting. I've literally done a set review where I talk about every single figure in the set, and yet I keep forgetting that there are figures in this set that I need slash want. Black Panther, Gorilla Man, Drax, Falcon, and Thanos. Wow, I mean, I completely forgot about the uh, Mission Point Thanos, who I did want. It's really cool. Is this Thanos a scientist? He is a scientist. Gosh, I really want to play, if they ever do another, like, 400 points uh, thing at Worlds, I want to play just the Mission Point scientist team. Scientist is the mission point keyword. It goes so hard, it gets you a Watu. You can cheat Wrecker in with a Wizard. You know, it gets you this Thanos. It also gets, I mean, it gets you a ton of stuff. It gets you that MODOK that we just saw. Scientist is, is the premier mission point keyword. Uh, there's too much stuff that works for it, which is really cool. There's other stuff too. I don't know if Herbie is a scientist or not, but uh, yeah. Boom. We get... Hawkeye, Novar, Falcon, Wonder Man, and another Hydra agent. I may end up like taking a picture of just seeing how many. Oh man, these boosters were like stuck together. Uh, and seeing how many generics we get in this in this set, in this uh, in this case. Because we've gotten a lot. Mostly the Hydra ones. Maybe I'm more paying attention to the Hydra ones because they are the my favorite one. The one I want the most of. Oh, sick. Okay, a rare that I haven't pulled yet who I have wanted. I actually didn't even know that's what his sculpt looked like. That's a really cool sculpt. I'm kind of down with that. We get, wow, this is a, wow. In true, in true kazoo fashion, may I say, this is a heck of a pack. This is like a generic man's dream. I would call these guys one cost cards as they're generic. And then we get uh, Kazar here uh, or kazoo, but we literally get uh, Maria Hill, a Mindless One, a Hydra Agent, and a Shield Operative. We get three generics in one pack, plus Maria Hill. That brings in the Hydra Operative here. And then Kazar. This is, I mean, this pack is less than 200 points. It's literally, I don't even know if it goes up to 150. 15, 30, 45, and then 30. Oh, gosh, 80. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no. 
uh, 30 plus 80 plus 40, that's ox, whatever, math, I don't care. It does not even go above 150. This is a, a rough sealed booster. Um, you're going to hope you get something better in the rest of your packs, but this is hilarious. Three generics, Kazar, Maria Hill. That This is just an, a funny pack. Any generic chaser, generic man's dream who just wants, you know, generics. Generic, 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 generic. We have an insane amount of Hydra ones. I love the Hydra guys. All right. We get Hawk Guy, Wonder Man, Reptile, Nick Fury, and then a Red Widow to finish us off here. Man, I can't stop thinking about that uh, Kazar generic pack. It's so good. Um, but yeah, guys. So let me know what you want. Man, fly. Bang, 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 bang. This reminds me of that one episode of Breaking Bad when they have to <laughs> kill a fly. I'm sorry. C cringe. I know, kids. Anyways, let me know how your cases went. I was very satisfied with this case. I'm really happy with everything that I pulled. I mean, a double chase. Oh, yeah, gosh. A uh, double chase. Uh, obviously, I should show you the chase I pulled. Uh, goodness gracious. So, in this pack, we have Black Panther, we have the Winter Soldier, we have Nick Fury, we have the Rare Star-Lord, and obviously, we have my boy Soldier Supreme! Which is all, the really, all I truly wanted from this set was getting old, old Stefan Rogers here. Uh, I think it's Stefan Rogers. Yeah, it's Stefan Rogers. Stefan! Steven! It's a P, bro. Fa 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 in my mind. It's only the English language, aka my language I'm butchering, so please let me butcher it. But yeah, we get, we got Soldier Supreme. I'm happy. This is a great Thanksgiving. We got a lot of Super Urge one. We got that Thanos we wanted. Iron Hammer is just a baller chase. We get Soldier Supreme. It's a good time. I am I am more than happy with my case. I have my fun. Really, if I could only choose one thing I'm disappointed in, it would be it would be this. Because I do think I I think I might actually own all of these already. I own either Dark Star or Ursa Major. But the Mockingbird team up don't need especially when i still need the bucky team up the falcon team up the captain america team up you know i gotta gotta get my patriotic dudes all teamed up you know and i would have really liked this patriot one if i didn't already trade for him so that's kind of an on me not so much a luck thing it's it's a luck thing you know you trade for something but yeah uh crazy amount of generics i'm glad i got kazar he's a super fun rare i love it when they make rares really fun uh and honestly one of the cooler figures mechanic wise in the entire set is the rare uh case are so it's really cool i got my dice and token packs that i can't wait to mess around with play around with overall i'm very happy with what i pulled this set i am yeah i'm stoked about the distribution so guys let me know what you pulled in your brick let me know if you pulled what you wanted to pull let me know if you didn't pull what you wanted to pull obviously you know two chases in a prime no complaints here and I think three super rares in each brick. Yeah, so from my last brick, which was like two super rares, one super rare prime, this case is like top tier with double chases. Still on the look for that Arachnite. Arachnite is insanely expensive right now. Man, this fly. I'm going to Walter White this. I'm, I'm going to kill this fly. I'm actually not. I'm going to instantly leave, go upstairs, and then be in the way while my family is trying to cook uh, their side dishes and whatever before we go over to our family's place. So, thank you so much for watching this unboxing. I am your host, Calder Ness. You're watching Dial H for Hero Clicks. And like I said earlier, yes, another Patreon plug. Uh, make sure to check out the Patreon if you want to support us, the content that we make, unboxings, skit videos, whatever. Make sure to check out the Patreon. You can also get yourself some really cool uh, action tokens and bystander tokens that they don't make in this set like if you want the chronal echo bystander or not bystander but the token for echo we have a really fun one where it's just an amazon echo but it says echo on it so i think it's really funny for the for the echo uh the rick jones bystanders like i said is me simeon and ian which is really funny so yeah and Obviously, if you want to support the channel for free, you can like, comment, and subscribe, or even better, share this video with your friends. Like, seriously, if you aren't subscribed, what are you doing? We're making great Heroclix content. Don't you want to stay up to date on that, my guy? I, I will, I'll kill you. Kill you and your family, Fly. You live like three days or whatever, but I, you're going to annoy me for like the 20 minutes that I'm going to record, really? Okay. That's what we in the business call being professional, letting every little thing distract you when you're trying to do a readout for the video that you just filmed. Anyways guys, happy Thanksgiving, and like always, happy trails.